So if you want to get started with your own uh, web hosting, um, what you can go into uh, DigitalOcean and create a new account. Um, you can see here I've set up a project. And then what I would recommend, although there's lots of options, um, is that you create a new droplet. Um, so you can see we can spin up a, do a droplet here. Um, we're going to choose Toronto as our uh, data center. Um, and then we're going to choose a uh, general purpose plan, no, a basic plan um, for $7 a month. Um, and then what we want to do is go into the marketplace and we're, you can see here there's a whole bunch of different um, things that we can set up. Uh, you, you, we're mostly familiar, or you're mostly familiar with Plesk and if we click on this you can see that um, it says that the one-click version of Plesk on DigitalOcean is free for up to three domains. So you could host uh, three domains here without paying the roughly $40 a month to Plesk. Um, and then there's the uh, all the instructions that you need to get started but once it's set up you, you'll I think you'll find that um, it's very similar to um, the way it works for for the school um, so you can see here we've chosen Plesk we've chosen uh, the Intel or AMD it doesn't really matter they're both on SSD drives we've chose chosen the cheapest option at seven dollars um, after that, you'll have to figure out how you're going to connect, either with a password or an SSH key. Obviously, the password is probably easier, um, although a little bit less secure. Um, you can see I've, I'm using uh, uh, SSH keys in order to, uh, to manage it. Um, you can name your droplet here, you can put tags on it, you can put project on it, um, and then you can... Why can't I not save it yet? Oh, because I have to put password, and I have to put a password in. Um, let's put something here. And it must contain a number. And it must contain some things. Cannot end in the number or special character. Must contain at least one uppercase letter. There we go. Um, once, I got, once I've created that, that password, then I can click, click, click on Create Droplet. Um, and then from there, uh, you should be able to uh, look and see how you sign in. Um, but uh, this should be able to get you started.